Hey Necromancers, sorry that videos have been fewer and further between lately. There's a couple of good reasons to that. Firstly, I've been moving again recently, so I've had to spend a lot of time hauling stuff around and getting rid of stuff. Secondly, my time and effort has been going mostly toward my new game project, which is the topic of this video and what I'd like to show you now. This game doesn't really have a genre because it's mostly me messing around and having fun, but it resembles a MOBA because of how the minions work. Basically, you have a base, and the enemy has a base, and there's paths, and minions spawn in groups and move along these paths towards the enemy base. Meanwhile, your character moves around the map under your control in either first or third person camera mode. As you fight, you gain experience and level up, which allows you to spend points on minion tiers, which causes more or better minions to spawn. Eventually, you overwhelm the other side, or they overwhelm you, and someone's base gets destroyed. The map is infested with neutral creatures which are hostile to everyone, and initially very powerful. So these neutral creatures must be dealt with before the enemy is encountered. There's currently two factions, Undead and Robots. Undead players control a Necromancer, whose abilities are Dark Bolt, Haste, and Hellfire. Dark Bolt is a smoky purple sphere that's launched at enemies and explodes on impact. Enemies killed by the Dark Bolt return as first tier skeletons under the player's control. These minions' primary objective is to follow the player. Enemies that come within their engagement range are attacked. Haste buffs minions with increased speed within a radius for a period of time. Hellfire is a short range AoE attack that heals allies and damages enemies. The Necromancer also gets a free skeleton archer minion per level. These spawn in once every 15 seconds for free and follow the player. Enemies within their range are engaged with arrow fire. As enemies move closer, the archers backpedal to attempt to maintain distance. If enemies get too close, a sword is drawn and the archer engages the target in melee. The undead faction's minion tiers are small, pygmy-like skeletons for the first tier. These skeletons aren't particularly fast or strong, but they are numerous. Second tier minions include NPC controlled necromancers with the Dark Bolt spell, who also gain their little following of minions when they kill enemies, as well as a few different types of big skeletons. The first is lightly armored with a curved sword, the second is moderately armored and shielded, while the last one is heavily armored. These minions deal significantly more damage and have more health. Third tier minions are currently large zombies. These zombie ogres deal the most damage and have the most health of any minion, and can charge into battle to close the distance quickly. I'd like to add more and better spells and minions to the game. Robot players control an upgraded version of the missile tank robot. The robot's turret is independent of its body and controlled with mouse look, while the sad is moved to move the tank forward or backward and rotate it left or right. The robot's abilities are Machine Gun, which is the cheapest and most versatile attack. Its second attack are rockets or missiles. Holding the mouse button down loads rockets to be fired, and releasing the mouse button causes them to launch in rapid succession. The rockets fly in an arc, so some practices needed to hit stuff with them. They do a lot of damage and have long range. Finally, the robot can burst enemies at short range of its flamethrower attack. The robot faction's minion tiers are small, cube-shaped robots for the first tier. These robots engage the enemy at close range with their flamethrower attack. Second tier minions are NPC-controlled missile tanks. These robots don't have the arsenal of the player and appear smaller and simpler. Their attacks are rockets at long range and shotguns at short range. When they die, they leave behind a smoking carcass that will explode after 20 seconds dealing damage to everything within range. Third tier minions are large mechs. These mechs launch four small rockets at enemies over a long range. These missiles are smaller and weaker than the missiles from the player or missile tank units, but fly faster and further. At closer distances, the mech will switch to using its machine guns. The game project started on the 19th of April this year, so it's not even three months old, and there's a long way to go with it, but I'm having lots of fun making it. 
Rambles from the Discord has been helping me a lot with the textures and sound effects. She coloured the armors of the skeletons, zombie ogres, mechs, and also made the hellfire texture. The noises the skeletons make when they attack were also recorded by Rambles. The game is being made with Unity, and a large number of the assets are public domain ones from opengameart.org and freesound.org as well as a mixture of free and proprietary assets from the Unity Asset Store. The cube robots and missile tanks come from Open Game Art. The bridge is originally also from Open Game Art, but I modified it in Blender for my needs. The Necromancer, Mechs, and Tier 1 Skeletons are free assets from the Unity Store. The Skeleton Warriors, Zombie Ogres, and Neutral Creatures are all purchased from the Unity Asset Store. A special thanks to my patrons, because their donations have paid for all the assets I've had to buy for the game so far, which helps me out a lot. Demos and early release versions of the game will be available for Master Necromancers on Patreon as soon as the game is polished enough. All patrons, along with Rambles and the creators of the assets, we're going to mention in the credits of the game, because they're helping to create it. If you want to help too, the best way is to become a patron. This will help me purchase quality assets to use in the game. For future factions, I've got the following ideas. Gaia, the nature faction. This faction will have things like druids, wolves, elephants as minions. Eldritch, a Lovecraftian faction of cultists, aberrations, oozes, slimes, and other eldritch horrors. Murica. modern military faction. This faction will have soldiers, armoured personnel carriers, tanks, howitzers, and all kinds of other modern military stuff. Medieval, a faction of medieval footmen, archers, knights, etc. As you may have guessed, the setting is fun and not realistic. It's pretty much just pitting cool armies against each other. None of these factions will be added until the current two are finished and balanced to my satisfaction. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this interesting. In case you're wondering what happened to my other game project, the roguelike, I've had to put it on hold indefinitely. It reached a point where the complexity was too high and the problems too challenging to overcome. It was a major motivation killer to work on. I realised I was going nowhere fast with it, so I decided to take a step back and make something simpler and more fun. Sometimes you gotta know when to quit. The other problem with the roguelike was that it is a group project. The collaborators I was working on it with are no longer able or willing to work on the game. But this new game is completely my own creation. No one else is working on it, so only I am responsible for it, and that's a good thing.